Alright guys, so I just came back from the gym and I'm looking at the right stuff. For some reason in May, I kept saying April, in May we had to completely clear the books for like two weeks. So let me see, it was about five, ten days that we had to clear our books on. I forget why. I was... Actually, no, I don't. I had to be there for the tiny house. So we were getting the tiny house up and running and I had to be there. We had contractors coming in and I could not have it listed for the things that it needed to be. So we did lose money on that. On top of that, May was a little slow with me trying to get people in. So I don't think I was charging as much money as I could. But, you know, I had to do what I what I I had to do what I did because when we were doing the tiny house, we were taking up chunks of winter so that we could get everything up and in that meantime you know i could not you know list the property so we did take a hit on that overall may was a really really good month and i will i will reveal the total um at the end and then I'll say it in each property because you guys want me to separate each of these properties. And I totally understand the tiny house wanting to be separated. Eventually, I'm going to put both of the cabins together. So let's just go ahead and jump into, um, you know, what I got to talk about, my expenses. So my mortgage for this house is $1,584.39. It's only a few dollars more than my mortgage out in Gatlinburg. Um, right now, we want to buy another house, but... I'm strapped for cash, the interest rates are too high, I just don't know if I want to get a loan right now, even though there's a lot of loans out there that could help people who are, you know, opening up. My interest rate is 3.75, I believe, 3.75 um, on that, three bed, three baths, three acres. Um, my electricity bill was only $104.14, not too bad, but honestly, I wasn't in, when I was there for those 10 days, I wasn't you know, using that much electricity when I'm out and about trying to work and stuff. So we, 10 days is a lot to take off of your books um, when you're not vacationing for yourself. Then my cleaners, I had six bookings. So I got a new cleaner. So my old cleaner came three times and my new cleaner came three times. I actually make 10 extra dollars off of my first cleaner. So she charges 190 to do the property and I charge 200 on the app to do it and then uh, my other cleaner he does it a little bit less um, but all of the extras that I make it goes into a pot for any repairs that I have to have for the maintenance person to come and the new cleaner also does maintenance work and landscaping work so it really works out that I can just shove that money towards him all the extra stuff that's coming to the pot for him to you know work around the property so one of my cleaners came three times, $190, that was $570 that I owed to her. And then my other cleaner came three times, and that was about $136, I believe. And he was $409.50 that I have to pay to him. He did come and do a lot of maintenance work as well, so it was a twofer that he wanted to give me, and I really like him, really, really like him. So he is now the guy that I go to for my grass to be cut. And uh, at first he charged $100 to do just the front of the house. And then I was like, you know, just go ahead and move it all the way to the back to the front of the driveway. So he charges a little bit more now for it. But this cut was only $100. We really needed it. And then I had my old cleaner maintenance people come back for $75 to make a trip because we had a power outage with a guest who was staying there they were in complete darkness um they were asking for the bedding to be changed and i wanted someone to go out there and check on them so i had them sent out with new bedding um they wanted more covers like more comforters and stuff they they literally sent me a picture of like three dog hairs on the cover and i and we had to go in and change everything customer service i know great change them all but it was three dog hairs and my listing does say that we allow dogs so i understand but to have us come out there and change everything i thought it was a little excessive but you know we had it i had someone who could come out and they checked in pretty late as well so yeah that was not good so what had happened was lightning struck of course my 
electricity pole in the neighborhood and it only affect my house and my neighbor's house everyone else's houses had electricity except for ours too the house it is pitch black back back there we are in a clearing in the middle of the forest uh, with a sheep farm next door and the sheep farm was the one that lost power as well so my neighbors came over to my house you know asking if they were okay if they had power and they were like freaking out apparently these people were like 18 years old and then long t um long story short we did get the power on um, a few hours later, everything was okay, and then these people threw a party at my house. I'm telling you, I counted. There was like 10 cars in my driveway. And I literally messaged the girl. I was like, look, I understand. You're in the middle of nowhere. You're going to want to have a party, but can you please put away this, 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 and this, any breakables, put it away so that it doesn't get stolen and it doesn't get damaged. And I was straight up, so it doesn't get stolen. Um, she said I understand. She also did something else that I didn't like, but I handled it. I guess I should be upfront. She walked up to my tiny house and I called her on camera and I said, I will call the police if you go back up there. Um, this is why people don't like to, you know, rent to 18 year olds. May was a trip, y'all. I keep having problems with my well at the other property. We've put in different systems to try to get it to work. Uh, ironing rods in it or whatever they're called to try to get the smell of the sulfur out of it um every two weeks we had to put a water treatment in that would eliminate the smell but it, it was just literally putting a band-aid on the problem and not treating the problem so finally i found a water treatment place and for them to come out and treat the water that day because i had to schedule them to install um, that was $87.98. They went in, diagnosed the problem. They put in something that would help with the problem. And then the, the uh, amount for how much it cost to actually have that whole treatment system put in came out in, in June. So I'm not going to include that. That's going to be in the June update. That was a big bill. But the water has just been giving us a problem. We've had two people leave comments about how the water stinks and that we had to get someone out there to try to treat the water and you know it was an inconvenience every time so that was only $87 for May leaving our expenses at $2,931.01. I don't think this is anything compared to my expenses in June however because I had to take out 10 days I had to stay there for 10 days um, in different weeks those expenses added up and we took a big chunk out of our profit we only had six bookings and I will put the picture here so you guys can see it as well we had um, most weekends were booked I had to be there of course we had breakdowns of 115 a night um, we also have a pet fee of hundred and fifty dollars highest fee that we had the highest one we had was two hundred and fifty dollars Someone had a pet for $150, $210, and then the lowest was $99. Now, when I wasn't staying at the property, I had four open days that were not booked. And I put those down as low as $88 because I was just trying to get people to come in. Number one, it was kind of, it was the first two weeks of May, so not a lot of people were traveling. So I was trying to get some, you know, at least a body in there because I did leave last minute. I thought I was going to be staying longer, but I left last minute. Um, the Sunday before that so I was like okay let's just put it down as you know to $88 and see if we can get someone we did not so yeah you live and you learn I had to be there as a property owner there are just things that you can't not go and do yourself that was a total of three thousand two hundred and sixty nine dollars and eighty seven cents you put that all together you do your magical sub subtraction and you'll see that we did not profit a lot we profited but we did not profit a lot we ended with $338.86 from this property. We got a total, a gross total only on Airbnb in the month of May for $10,345. So you guys, if you want to hear where all of that money came from for the other two properties and how the expenses work out and all of that, check out the other two videos I'm going to be posting. This is just the third month of this one because this is a new property and it's going to let me know if we should keep this property or not. I honestly think I would keep the property because I bought this property for the land itself. I didn't buy it for the house. The house was a bonus. I bought it for the land potential of my tiny house campground, which is why I will not sell it because I'm making more money having it in the long run. But that was my thought process on it. I know a lot of people are like, well, you're, that's not a lot of money. That's a lot of, you know, headache for blah, blah, blah. 
it's literally working out on the back end. So I'm happy where I'm at. Not happy about the 10 days having to be taken off, but it is what it is. So let me know what do you guys think. How is your Airbnb going? What do you think about my expenses? Are they a lot? Are they not much? I also want to say I do not have a water bill because I'm on a well and septic. I don't have a gas bill or anything like that. So living out in the country has its benefits because you technically get a lot of bills cut off. You know, you don't have to do public water, public city water and all of that. So yeah, it's a it's a plus and some minuses in some areas. So please continue watching my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. I hope this is helpful for you that this is the no bullshit of how much money, you know, you could potentially lose or make doing Airbnb. It's not always rainbows and sunshines. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.